It'll be fine. I'll figure something out. Wow. I'm just like saying that instinctively. I'm really good at this president thing. I'm just setting myself up to cause more problems. I'm terrible at this president thing. <laughs> Better. <laughs> And welcome back to Mr. Red Play's Doki Doki Literature Clip. Uh, I unlocked some stuff. I uh, took a break to let my voice relax. And I also played through the game again. Uh, I kind of just sped through it. But what I did is I reset the game and then I deleted uh, the Monica character file before starting a new game. And that gave me this which is cool. Then I uh, played through the game again. I started it over and I tried both Sayori and Monica for weekend help before choosing Natsuki or Yuri. So I got these two things. We're done. All right, we're going to go on to the next side story. All right, reflection part one. This is going to be fun because I don't know what to expect, which is a running theme, obviously. <clears throat> uh, Monica says, am I bothering you? Hmm, no. Okay, just checking. It's hard to tell since you always look so into it when you're reading. It makes me scared to interrupt. We're really just jumping into this one, aren't we? Well, it's within my expectations to be interrupted when I read here. It's mainly when I'm by myself that I don't like it. Hmm, that makes sense. I guess if you're here in the first place, then you're more ready to socialize, even if it takes a little bit of prodding. Just give you a little bop. <laughs> yeah. It's not so bad to be social. It's not so bad to be social if I let others do the work. So it can be healthy to put myself in social situ environment every now and then. It's mostly difficult when I don't know anyone, or there are too many people, or everyone is being too silly for me to keep up with. Yuri glances across crop. Yuri glances across the room at Sayori and Natsuki. Yeah. Sayori has her head cocked back and her mouth open, trying to catch pieces of a cookie that Natsuki is b lobbing into the air. But the, pieces <laughs> but the pieces keep bouncing off her face and hitting the floor. Maybe I should say something. No need. They just ran out of cookie. What a waste. They've been really good. They've become really good friends, haven't they? I'm happy. Uh, Sayori seems particularly good at making that happen. But the two of them are both on the energetic side, so I oppose it works out well. Yeah. Come to think of it, you and I haven't had many chances to talk one-on-one, -on -one, have we? Though that may be partially my fault, since I'm supposed to be the one engaging club members. Not at all. I probably formed a habit of drawing minimal attention to myself. The responsibility is equally on me, at least to display some openness to engage. Well, what about during times like lunch? Do you meet up with friends? I... I just read. Uh but I like it that way. It feels nice to be carried off again by a morning of classes. Hmm. Do you always read fantasy? Oh, not always. I suppose it's all I've read recently, but only because I'm in the middle of this series. There are still two more books after this one. I guess those long books sit you well, since you spent so much time reading. Well, fantasy may be my favorite, but after that, I'm more or less indiscriminate to genres. I'll read anything with depth and maturity. Oh yeah? Even like... Romance? Yuri, romance? Well, there are a lot of books that have elements of romance in them. Oh, come on, Yuri, you know what I mean. I'm talking about smut, Yuri. Smut! Monica lowers her voice. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, so I won't tell anyone. Yeah, you no. Know. Maybe more when I was in middle school. I mean, I was really lonely, and people were mean to me a lot. So it just, it kind of felt nice. Mm, please don't make me think about the past. <laughs> Sorry, I just got super curious. You know, we should totally pick out a romance novel to read. That'd be so much fun. Absolutely not. Really? Even if it was just between us? Try asking someone who has no shame, like Natsuki. Ouch. Ah, uh, sorry. I didn't mean that. Well, I guess it was my fault for pressing you. I'm like that for things in my past, too. You know, things I feel too embarrassed to re-experience. Like what, Nanaka? Like what? Let me know. I'd love to know. Tell me. Tell me. There's nothing wrong with growing out of things. It happens to everyone. For instance, Natsuki's interest in manga reminds me a bit 
quite a bit of how intense I used to be about my own interests. It makes me think that she'll likely grow out of it, too. Hey, were you just whoops? Hey, were you talking about me? Um, no, we were just... Oh, we were talking about how our interests have changed over the years. But not yours, better. When did you get into manga, better? Hmm? Like a couple of years ago, I guess. I was already sort of into it before then, but I wasn't really going hard until then. Oh, yeah? What was it that inspired you to get more red to it? I don't know. I guess... Let me think. Oh, we're gonna fade into a flashback? I guess it was after I discovered a series that I really liked. Yeah, it was. Li I was like really fed up with a lot of things, and I got super into this one series that I really relate to. I guess I had an edgy phase where I just hated everyone around me and wanted to be by myself. Ha 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 ha. Kinda like better. <laughs> Monica! Ha 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 ha. Sorry. That's completely wrong, so. It's still cool that you both really found your thing. They're almost kinda like opposites. But it sounds like they helped you through a lot of hard times. You know it. Mmm. Wow, what the heck? Wow, what the heck? Is that book even bigger than the last one you were reading? Uh, um, it's technically slightly longer, but not by very much. How high do you- How high do you think it would go if you stacked up the whole series? Natsuki estimates by holding her hand high above her head, sizing up an imaginary stack. So what, like this big? <laughs> Natsuki. I should get one of those mangas that's like 50 volumes long so I can say I've read more than you. <laughs> Not that I have the money for that. Play. Please. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Please, that would hardly count when your books only have a few words per page. I know, I was just joking. I could never actually read books like yours. It's too boring for me. Oh no, Yuri shoots a glance at Natsuki. It's not boring. Chill. Chill. I said for you, not for me. Jesus. Jesus, these voices. Okay. Chill, I said for me, not for you. I have my own opinion. I just think it's too convoluted. Say, uh, Peter, are these from the floor? Uh-oh. Hmm. <laughs> 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 gross. Also, wash your hands before touching any of my books. But my hands aren't dirty. Just do it. The oil's on are even if you, you can't see them. Fine. Sayori trots out the door, and everybody does the dinosaur. Oh, I mean, Natsuki follows. Peter, you look a little upset. What kind of nerve does she have to call my book hobby boring? Well, she did correct herself. Hardly. She was so condescending. I don't mind if she thinks it's not for her. I already understand that it's not for everyone. But she knows well how much these mean to me. So how about leaving me alone instead of needlessly telling me the things you hate about it? I'm sorry, Peter. You may be right. I may be crazy. But it just may be a better you're looking for. This won't be the last time people have strong feelings about what they like and don't like. It certainly wasn't the first, especially in a literature class. So I should figure out how to mediate discussions and keep them positive and constructive. For the record, I've always been impressed by the level of creativity in your books, and also your ability to gather them so quickly. Thank you. Okay, well, this is something I'll have to think about and revisit. I'm sure I can help it or find some common ground with you. Common ground isn't necessary. I just wish to be respected. No, this one's called reflection. Not that. Either way, I'll do my best. I'm skeptical when it comes to Natsugi. I trust you, Monica, but I'm skeptical. Wow, she really is a huge nerd. I guess I never really realized that before. I mean, they're all huge nerds, but she's the hugest nerd of them all. And not just because she's tall. Okay, Peters. We have a special club meeting today. As you know, the literature club is a place where we can get together. Litter, richer club, yeah. Oh my God, that was stupid. Uh, where you can get together, share the things that we're really passionate about. But it also means that we should be mindful of how we respond to other each other's feelings. I think we have a chance to turn our differences into positive energy for each other. Aren't you being a little dramatic about this? This is a board debate. Well, sorry. I just feel like I'm being accused of something. Haven't we already gone through this? No, I'm not accusing anyone. Of anything. I'm sorry if I came off that way. But our conversation yesterday made me reflect on the power of language. And I thought it'd be a good topic for the literature club, don't you think? I'm sure we're gonna have differences in opinion a lot. So I need to make sure we're prepared to keep 
positive atmosphere at the club. If you say so, sure. The cool thing about language is that it gives us a lot of different ways to express the same idea. Our emotion. We have a lot of control over how we want the other person to feel when we're receiving our thoughts. Receiving thoughts. This goes for poetry, narratives, casual conversations, basically anything. For example, Peter, what's your favorite food? Um, I have them organized. I have them organized by category. Should I start with snacks, or do you mean full meals? Should I include breakfast? Oh, jeez. How about your favorite fruit? That's easy. Cherries. Really? I always thought cherries tasted nasty. What? Cherries are delicious. Wow, that's a pretty strong reaction. Well, I just don't understand how somebody could think cherries are nasty unless they themselves were nasty. Monica. How does it make you feel? I don't know. Sad? Defensive, baby. Yeah, I got defensive. See, the reason you had such a strong reaction wasn't just because I don't like cherries. It's because you felt your opinion was under attack. But that's weird, right? Something like taste is completely subjective. But when I say something like, I think cherries taste nasty, I'm using objective language. I'm challenging Sayori's reality that cherries are del- Reality, Monica, mm, are delicious with my own, which is that cherries are nasty. Wait, hold on. How is that objective when you just said it was only your opinion? It has to do with the way our brains interpret the words. You're talking about the reality of cherries, not your feelings about them. Like Spader, let's rewind for a second and pretend I didn't tell you that I think cherries are nasty. Good. So, what if instead of that, I said like, I've tried cherries and they're not for me. It's not the flavor I do. Well, that's fine. As long as you don't call them nasty. Nasty is a nasty word. Okay. So cherries are kind of a weird example, but I think it gets the point across. I chose cherries because of Pac-Man and I'm in a video game, so. This time around, instead of talking about the cherries, I just talked about my feelings and say, oh, I did get a defense app. So instead of, Peter didn't get, damn it. <laughs> so instead of clashing with each other, it's like we received an invitation to talk about our differences. Peter, you don't need to take notes. I'm not gonna quiz you or something. I know that. I was just, ah. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. You can do whatever you'd like. But does anyone have any thoughts so far? Yeah, I just feel like I shouldn't have to put all my language through a filter just to protect someone's feelings. Well, you don't have to. The choice is yours on how you want to come across to other painters. I'm only suggesting it as a tool to help turn your differences into a positive experience rather than an argument. Right, painter? Whatever you say, cherry hater. Oh, come on. Painter, I actually like cherries. I was just saying that to help demonstrate. What the heck? I've been duped. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Peter. I'll make it up to you later. What about a che- How about a cherry Sunday? You are welcome to dupe me anytime, my beloved president. <laughs> Bye. Buying your people's lo- loyalty. How deplorable. Oh, like you wouldn't turn down a free Sunday, Yuri. You were certainly a fan of those cupcakes I brought in the other week. That was, I mean, I was reading and not keeping track of them. That's enough. We're getting off topic. So now that we have the gist of it, how about we try again with something more relevant to the club? Like Bogabot! Let's try to have a productive discussion about our differences in a budget. Better, you ought to start- Um, oh, well, I'd rather not, no. Uh, yeah! Well, because I don't see how anything productive can come from that. It's just gonna start a fight! No, it'll be fine. That's where I'm here to moderate. Now tell me what you hate the most about Natsuki. <laughs> Let's have a calm and rational discussion. Yeah! Give me a little more credit. I'm not a child. You don't have to quarrel my feelings. I always think it's more respectable to just speak your mind. <laughs> respectable? Yuri's expression changes at that word. Respe- respectable. As Monica recalls, being respected was the crux of the matter for Yuri. Is this not reflection? It's not called respect. Wait, maybe it is reflection. No? Huh? I'm pretty sure it's reflection. But now I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, well. Well, the point... 
Well, the point of the exercise isn't exactly like- It's fine. I have nothing against anyone personally. You're entitled to enjoy whatever it is you like. I just prefer more depth and nuance in my reading material. I look for stories more that are more imaginative and sophisticated beyond the surface level. Not like manga. Oh, well, that's just a misunderstanding then. I thought you were going to say that manga's for children or something. Like I don't hear enough of that. But there's plenty of deep manga. I'm not clueless about manga. I've read my own fair share when I was younger. <laughs> what? Are you serious? How come you never told me? Because I'm past that point. Oh, my God. Yuri's voice. It's always jumping into Yuri's voice that I just cannot do. Because I'm past that point in my life, and I really prefer not to revisit it. I prefer more mature things now. Well, there you see. Excuse me. Okay, hold on. Can I jump in here? Let Monica handle it. I'm an immoderate. That's why they call me Monica. Let's try to keep things subjective. Because if you imply that manga is immature, then aren't you implying that someone is immature from being into it? I... Well, maybe it's immature to judge people for having different tastes than you. Natsuki, I'll be better. Nobody's immature. I've read uh, Natsuki's manga and Yuri's fantasy, and I love them both in their own way. Oh, okay, okay. It's great that you like it, but I still find it boring. Boring isn't subjective. Okay, it bores me. That's subjective. But, I mean, the thing about... This is ridiculous. Do you see why I don't want to participate in this? I knew it was just going to make people upset. I'm not 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 upset. Like I said, I don't care what other people think. But I always got the impression that you secretly looked down upon me. So I'm glad my suspicions were confirmed. Well, I have to look down upon you because... I mean, that's not true at all. You're making assumptions. You can't blame me for getting defensive when nobody ever has the least bit of respect for the things that I'm into. The only thing I look down upon is when people make fun of me for just being myself and trying to mind my own business. What? Have you looked in the mirror? Tell me again about respect after calling my interests immature. Reflection. Okay. Okay, well. You, you can't. Please stop. Please. You don't mean the things you're saying right now. Let's just be friends. Oh, I didn't realize it were that simple. I did made for this to happen. I'm a terrible club president. I'm going to drink up the literature club. She runs out the door. Well, it did. So please don't invite yourself to try to solve other people's problems next time. Okay. Yuri's piercing words send the club room into a choked silence as she gathers her things. Oh, no. She leaves. No, Yuri. Holy crap. <laughs> I never heard of her sound like that before. She must be so pissed. Well, you aren't very nice either, so... I was just saying. How did this happen? It's my fault. Peter wasn't wrong. I should have tried to moderate a conflict when I know how bad I am at dealing with conflict. That was a really stupid thing for me to do. It's nobody's fault. And it wasn't stupid. Everyone in the club is a nice person. Nobody would have expected this. But I guess we're sensitive about the things we really love. Honestly, she kind of brought it upon herself. Like I said, I don't care if you're into manga, but if you actually look down on other people for it, that's kind of the, that's kind of the point I was trying to make in the first place. It's not about sugar beet or anything. <laughs> it's about just recognizing and understanding our differences. Okay, but here's the thing about that. I'm using the other hand to point, so I have to click. Yuri actually looks down on me. It has nothing to do with her word choice or anything like that. She's like seven feet tall. So I see what you were trying to do, but I really think the problem here is her, not the way we talk to each other. Right? I bet. Yuri isn't like that. She's a lot sweeter than you're giving her credit for. I'm sure she'll be reflecting on this. I actually think everyone should. It'll be fine. I'll figure something out. Wow. I'm just like saying that instinctively. I'm really good at this president thing. I'm just setting myself up to cause more problems. I'm terrible at this president thing. <laughs> Better. This wasn't your fault, Monica. You don't have to beat yourself up for it. If you ask me, it's good that the truth finally came out. Because I could just move on now. But, hmm... It's fine, I promise. Let's just get our mind off this, okay? In fact, it's a good opportunity to read some manga without having to worry about feeding your superiority complex. 
That was weird. I do think that some people are just not compatible friendship-wise. And I think that's okay. You just have to acknowledge it. And then be like, all right, you do that thing. I'll do this thing. Maybe we're in the same group. We'll hang out together. But you're there and I'm here. Done. Easy. Easy. I don't have to go deleting anyone's character files or anything. Monica! God. Anyway, don't be mean. I'll talk or read manga or whatever you want, but just don't be mean to my friends, okay? Sorry. I'm just bitter. Everything will be okay. I mean, I don't have the answers, but I do have this... I do have this text file of all the words that you all love. Let me uh, pull that out. Uh, Sayori, happiness. Uh, uh, Natsuki, uh, parfait. Yeah. Yuri, I don't know, darkness or something? Who cares? At least I know that we're all good beaters and don't want to hurt each other. Well, this will be a learning experience. Monica says that, but her uneasiness is given away by how much she has to force the reassuring tone in her voice. This was bound to happen eventually. Natsuki and Yuri have always engaged with each other the least out of anyone, and this is the reason. As Sayori and Natsuki proceed to distract themselves with manga, Monica, that's hard to say, sides to herself, unable to shake her worried thoughts. Thoughts. Will the club really have to come just to come to terms with the fact that some members will be incompatible with each other? Yes. Monica desperately doesn't want to admit that, and she knows Sayori doesn't either. But for once, a solution just doesn't seem to be in sight. That's what I'm saying. Literally what I'm telling you, it's over! Oh, it's over. And there's no, um, there's no other stuff. We didn't unlock any pictures or nothing. And this is a wallpaper. There was this weird, uh, mail that we got, if this is your first episode. Uh, whoever changed the color scheme of the desktop to pink. So, I'm trying to change it to different, uh, pink desktop images. And they're all Natsuki ones, so... I mean, it might be this, which we might unlock in the next thing. There's no way of knowing. Uh, that's gonna be it for me, then. In the next episode, what we're gonna do is do this next side story, Reflection, part two. And then Self-Love, which is all about masturbation. Thanks for watching. Tune in in tomorrow for more exciting Doki Doki Literature Club adventures. Uh, we're gonna do Reflection, part two. And I can't wait for it. We're going to find out the secrets. Monica's going to be like, listen, you know and I know what's going on here. What are we going to do about this? And I can't wait for it. Until then, I've been Mr. Red. Stay spooky out there, everybody. And remember, keep watching.